Greetings and salutation, my friends. My name's Casey J. Hutchins. I'm a writer by trade and a gamer unpaid. So today we're here to talk about the bet track. <clears throat> now, these mirror dra dragons didn't originally appear in the beginning of Magi Totem. They came in later on. So how it came about was these were originally Hofoka. And Hofoka are fear-wielding dragons. And among their abilities, which I'll cover in other TikToks, uh, is their ability to create illusions. Now, they wanted to strengthen these to give them a little more life, a little more strength, and be able to create a bigger area of effect for that. So they turned to the Jikiran, and these are... Uh, robotic dragons who are, are particularly gifted in science and they began to conduct experiments how to do this so the Jikiran came up with the great idea of making mirrored armor so that they could use uh, reflection and some of the weird powers found within the sheets of glass in the middle of these experiments they ended up they ended up succeeding so the illusions were indeed stronger they were indeed made in a greater area but in the middle of this the wall falls in the laboratory and through this the dracooks come pouring in now these dragons believed in a blinding kind of justice where they didn't quite see reason and they just saw whatever they felt was wrong had to be eliminated in this case, they felt that this was a crime against nature. So these light-wielding dragons came and began to shoot their beams of light to take out their enemies. Now the Hofoka were not ready for this attack, and they were not used to those armors. Because these armors were very heavy, and it slowed them down considerably, so they were taken out in almost an instant. And when the Dracooks went to turn their attention to the Jikiran, they were about to attack when they felt a strange energy surge. But you see the Hofoka began to rise, and that light began to mutate themselves. And some of the armor began to fuse into their bodies. And up they rose, and they changed into the Betrak. And Betrak in appearance has metal skin with panes of, of uh, glass little panels of glass within embedded into their skin they'll have sails of the the material or they'll have fans of material at the end of their tails and they have this sort of elegance to them so they arose and set their sights upon the Dracooks who had just attacked them. Now, these light wielding dragons kind of panicked because they thought they finished the job. So they began to shoot their light back at the, the Nano Betrax, who they find out uh, the mirrors can deflect any projectile. So all their attacks are being bounced off. Well, that's not going to do. So they pull, the Dracooks pull the swords from their sides and began to try to slash at them. And they figure out this is a bad idea too, because remember, their skin's made of metal, so it doesn't do much to them. And even worse is when they tried to go for the pans and mirrors, uh, they found that they were a lot tougher than the typical material of glass. And the uh, bed tracks could change the glass glass's shape to stab at them and was injuring them when they were trying to attack. At this point, the Drakus had no no choice. They had to retreat. And it seemed that they was one. But the new Betrex knew that if they returned to their homeland, homeland of Hafu, that it, they would follow them there. And the feared dragons did not need to deal with that. This group had decided to go and do this. And they didn't want that danger following them home. So, what they did instead is they went to a long, 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 long uh, uh, 
forsaken, or not forsaken, abandoned land where there were skyscrapers that were in disrepair and it was, the whole land was basically just sand with this one human city left abandoned in it. So these Betrex, with their help, with the help of the Jikiren and the Matahari, which are the fire-wielding dragons, transformed this land into a glass-covered, with the occasional bits of sand, uh, glass-covered with towering skyscrapers, look, looking completely new, with um, a reflecting light causing an array of colors from the glass. And here, they made their home, called Spagel. Now, among the abilities I mentioned in this little story, uh, they also can travel through what's called the, uh, a world that's reversed from our own by dipping themselves into the mirror. And this makes it they can travel in between anything that has a mirror. Although the rules of that world are a little wacky, and I'll cover that in another video. They're also known, after being there, very good and very skilled in the arts of cosmetics and uh, overall appearance. They're sought off by many different uh, beings for advice on fashion and of the like, because they have that kind of eye for it. Among with the occasional people who want them as a uh, shield of some sort, but it's more of the one before. They're more sought out for that. And in the book, Scars and Scales by Casey G. Hutchins, we do get to visit them. And the queen of theirs, or the leader of theirs, I should say, rather, has a very interesting relation to Xerxes, of which you will have to find out about why our protagonist is related to him, uh, to her. At which you have to read the book, because I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> So that's it. I'll either see you next time or the time after that or never.